Hi, I'm Brian Chong from Bitsy. In today's tutorial video, I'll explain about system setting, company setting, and also user group. Let's go to Bitsy B2B seller platform. At the left hand side, you can see that at the bottom here, there is something called system setting. Click on it, and you can see all the setting over here. And let's start with company setting. In company setting, you can start with company profile. Company profile is all the information regarding your company. And of course, you can edit the company profile according to any changes to your company. Example, you can change the logo for your company logo, update the description of your company, then save it. At subscription dashboard is the subscription information for the Bitsy. Subscription dashboard is all the information regarding your subscription. But basically, you can just direct call to Bitsy dealer to know more or any additional package that you can purchase or renew your license accordingly. Let's go back. Currency. Every company or every subscriber to BitC platform will be assigned to one currency according to your country. For Malaysia company, of course, you are assigned with Ringgit Malaysia. And if you do have any transaction in more foreign currency, then you need to purchase our additional module called multi-currency module where you can edit or create multiple currency. And you do have that. Basically, you need to refresh the rate from the internet over here. Just click on this button, then you can update all the rates from the internet. If you do not satisfy with the rate from the internet, then what you can do is you can manually go to the currency, click on it and click edit and update to the rate accordingly. And do remember, you can always select whether you want to round up or round down or you want to change the decimal point. If you are okay with it, then click save. Under user group, please start with row. Row is actually the access control setting for all the user. Over here, we have three row. If you want to create row, then click on the create new. Example, you want to create a new row called new start. Put in a description. You can put in the same as the name. You want to activate to enable user to select it or not. And over here, you can set this access control or access right by B2B buyer or B2B seller. If you want to set this B2B seller, click on enable seller menu. Otherwise, you are not able to do the setting. Click on enable seller menu. Then, this is very straightforward. Basically, if you want to allow the user to do certain actions, then you click on that action. Example, for this new stuff, you want to allow them to view customer, add a new customer, and edit the customer information only. You do not want them to delete the customer or export the information to Excel or any other function in the whole system. Then this is how you do. Just click on the action that you want to allow them to assess. If you are satisfied, then click on the save button. This is how the role work. And for agent, you can treat it as a salesperson. So if you want to create different agent, then click on the create new. Let's say this is Amanda. And for Amanda, is there any superior she's belong to? If yes, then you can select them accordingly. 
or you want to assign customer under the care of Amanda, then you can click on this Add Customer button and select the customer accordingly. If you do not want to, close it and activate this new agent and click Save button. If you want to edit any information for existing agent, then just click on that agent and click Edit. You can delete the agent also. After setting for agent and role, then we should go to maintain user. Do remember create user. Just click on the create new button. Put in the email address. Please remember in BitC platform, individual user will be accessed the system using his own unique email address. You cannot have the same user access two different databases using the same address. They must have different email address. Then you need to assign the role for this particular user. Just click on it and select the role for this user. For user side, you can select multiple role for individual user. Maybe she is a new staff, but at the same time, she also need to do some key in work as a clock. So that's why for this person, they can have different role. And if this is a salesperson example, and you want to attach him to the agent, meaning that this user will only allow to get or view the customer or document information according to this agent. So meaning that ABC is actually Leslie, and when he access the system, he can only view his own customer and document that is created by him. If he is just a normal staff and not related to any agent, so you just ignore the agent part and do not do the linking. Save the information. If you want to edit information for a particular user, just click on that user and click edit. Or you want to send invitations, that means you want to invite them to access the system, then you click on the invitation. Only by sending out invitation and after the user accept the invitation, then only he or she will consider as registered and can access and use the platform. Do remember one thing. In BitC platform, our user license is based on name user, meaning that over here, there's already two user. Let's say you purchase a three user package, meaning that there's only one more user that you can create. And if you want to have additional user, please contact your dealer and get the information from them accordingly. That's all for today. Once again, I'm Brian from Bitsy. Thank you for watching.